So we wish we could have some colored cubes and some textured cubes, um, and maybe later different kinds of textures. So we could attach different shaders, right? So we define vertex and fragment shaders. You can actually have multiple of these, and we could specify different ones to use on different cubes. However, I think it's easier to approach this with a single vertex and fragment shader. So this is the way that I'm going to do it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a variable that's just going to let me use an if statement to decide what am I going to do. So my variable is going to be used, uniform variable, which texture. And if I set this thing to negative 2, I'm going to use the color. So I'm just going to set the fragment color to the color. And if I set this thing to negative 1, I'm going to use uh, this debugging that we used, where we take the UV coordinates, and rather than looking up the texture, we pass them directly uh, to the color. And if I set it to 0, I'm going to use texture 0, right? So I'm going to look up from sampler 0. This is where we've stored our texture. I'm going to give the texture. If I give some other value, I'm just going to stick some reddish debugging color in here so that I can see what's going on. So I'm going to have to make sure this gets passed in, right? So I have this u which texture. So of course I'm going to have to hook this up to GLSL, as I always do. So I'm going to go to my function where I normally declare that and put that in. And I'm going to have to go to my cube. And inside my cube, I'm going to have to now add a class field that tells me which texture number am I going to use. So I've set this to default 0, meaning to use the texture. Um, but we could set it to default to the color if we wanted to. And in the same way that we're passing the color and we're passing the uh, matrix before we go draw all the faces of our cube, I'm now going to pass in the little switch integer, which tells me how am I going to draw this. And remember, I'm using 1i here. Instead of 4f, this means 4 floating points. This means 1 integer. Uh, in terms of my passing information in. So this allows me to get the texture that we're drawing. So let's make a change here. Let's just change this to be color. So let's change it so our default is color. Recompile this, rerun this thing, and now we have the colored cubes that, that we had before. And if we set this to negative 1, we rerun this thing, now we've got our debugging texture coordinates that we had before. And I still haven't put my texture coordinates everywhere. You can see that my, my triangles are messed up on the sides, but you should get this all worked out. So now we need to make it so that we can set different cubes have different properties. So we've moved over on our code to render all shapes because this is where we're setting up our different cubes right now. And if I go to my body cube, I've set my body texture num to be to equal zero. So when I get around to rendering this body, then that's going to be stored and it's going to go ahead and pass the zero. And in fact, we see that our body has got the texture on it right, right now. And the others are set to negative one, which was, which was what I had my cube set to as the default if I don't specify anything. So if we wanted to get our colors back, then we would go to cube and we'd set our default to be using color. Uh, and if we wanted to have another cube, say this cube up here also had a texture. So we can go, well, that was the magenta box, right? So we can set the magenta box to also be um, ha having the texture num is equal to zero. And what we should get is that that one now is going to have the texture loaded onto it. So there's one other thing, uh, so that's working. And there's one other thing I want to point out, just because I think it's relevant to understanding what's going on. Watch when I reload this page. So I hit reload, and first these things appear, the middle ones, and then later these others appear. So why is that happening? These other cubes are there from the start, but the texture hasn't loaded yet. And because the texture hasn't loaded, it's just set to black. There's no, there's no data there. So that delay that we're seeing is while the texture is loading from the web server. Let me do that again so that you can see it. You're going to see these appear first, and then you're going to see these pop in. 